of flows, art of living and conscious layer of the mind. Conscious layer of human mind suppresses and censors the unconscious instincts. Certainly unconscious instincts belong to animal heritage in you and plays an important role in the process of human evolution. An art of living belongs to the conscious layer of the mind or more precisely conscious mind. Therefore, is it not wise to channel it through the intelligence or discrimination? Conscious and unconscious layers are two aspects of human mind. 90% of human mind is unconscious and only 10% is conscious layer. All that is unconscious has to become conscious. This is the entire process of transformation. Conscious layer of human mind suppresses and censors the unconscious instincts. Certainly unconscious instincts belong to animal heritage in you and plays an important role in the process of human evolution. <laughs> an art of living belongs to the conscious layer of the mind or more precisely conscious mind. Man is an animal but not only an animal instead he is more than that as well. But that more cannot deny the animal it has to absorb it. Man is more than an, an animal but animal cannot be denied. It has to be absorbed creatively for the process of transformation to gain impetus. You cannot leave it aside. It is in your roots. You have to use it creatively. So the first thing to remember is not to be negative about your animal heritage. You have to acknowledge this because once you start thinking in negative terms, you will become destructive to yourself because you are 99% animal. If you create a division, you are fighting a losing battle. You cannot win. The result of your fight will be quite the opposite. Because 99% is animal, only 1% of the mind is conscious. And this 1% cannot win against the 99%. It is going to be defeated. That is why there is so much frustration because everyone is defeated by his own animal. You can never succeed. Of necessity, you are going to be a failure because that one person cannot succeed against the 99%. It cannot even be divided from 99%. It is just like a flower that cannot go against the roots and against the whole tree. And while you are against your animal heritage, you are being fed by it. You are alive because of it. If your animal dies this moment, you will die immediately. Your animal exists. Your mind exists as a flower, but your animal heritage is the whole tree. Do not be negative about it. That is suicidal. And if you are divided against yourself, you can never attain anything which is blissful. You are creating a hell and the hell is nowhere else but in a divided personality. 
in the split personality is the hell. The hell is not something geographical. It is psychological. So is the heaven as well. The personality which is whole, one unit, with no inner division and conflict is heaven. So the first thing you have to remember is not to be negative, not to divide yourself, do not go against yourself, do not become too or schizophrenic. The animal that is there is not something bad. The animal in you is a great potential. That is your past and your future because much is hidden in it. Uncover it, develop it, allow it to grow and go beyond it. But do not fight with it. That is one of the basic teachings of Tantra. Most of the other traditions are divisible. divisive. They divide you, they create a fight within you. Tantra is not, Tantra does not divide. Tantra does not believe in fight. It is absolutely positive because it does not believe in saying no. Tantra believes in saying yes, yes to the whole life. Life really is total and if it has to evolve, it has to be positive in the entire process. And through yes alone the transformation happens, while through no there is only disturbance within. In Try it. Keep on saying to everything on one day, no, and see what happens. You create a disturbance within you. And with that, no transformation is possible. Against whom are you fighting? Against yourself. Then how can you win? And the major part of you is from the animal. So the major part will win. So those who fight, they are creating their own defeats. If you want to be defeated, fight. If you want to win, do not fight. Victory happens only through knowledge, not fight. Fight is a subtle violence and it, this is strange. But this has happened because those who talk about non-violence to others are very much violent against themselves. There are teachings and traditions which say, do not be violent to anyone. But those same teachings are very much violent as far as you are inwardly concerned. They teach you to be violent with yourself, but not to be violent with others. All types of asceticism, renunciation, negative attitudes, life-denying philosophies are based on maintaining a violent attitude towards yourself. They tell you to be violent with yourself. Tantra is absolutely non-violent. It says, if you cannot be non-violent with yourself, then being non-violent with anyone else is impossible. A person who is violent to himself and will be violent to everyone else. Also, in his non-violence, will be just hiding his violence. Aggression can be turned against yourself, but that aggressive attitude is destructive. But that does not mean to remain the animal which you are. 
the moment you accept your heritage the moment you accept your past the future becomes an opening through acceptance is the opening the animal is the past it need not be the future there is no need to go against the past and you cannot go instead use it creatively what can be done to use it creatively the first thing is to be profoundly aware of its existence those who fight are not aware of it because they are afraid they they push the animal behind into the unconscious really there need not be any unconscious but suppression creates more unconscious you feel many things within which you condemn without understanding remember one thing who understands condemns nothing there is no need he can even use the poison as a medicine because he knows everything can be used creatively because you do not know in ignorance poison remains poison with wisdom it can become the elixir or nectar to remember that you have to learn the art of transforming all that is negative into you the first criteria is acceptance it opens the door for itself enough for now